biology has a tradition of great expeditions. In the 1920s, Roy Chapman Andrews journeyed to the flaming cliffs in the Gobi Desert of Mongolia, and his team was the first to find dinosaur eggs. Eugene Dubois was in his late 20s when he decided to go to Java searching for human fossils. By the banks of the Solo River, he discovered the first known human ancestor, Java Man. Alfred Russell Wallace traveled through Bali and many other Asian Pacific islands. He not only created the field of biogeography, but with this gentleman, Wallace created one of the biggest ideas in all of science. Charles Darwin had spent much of his 20s on HMS Beagle on a five-year voyage around the world. The knowledge that he gained on that trek was vital in inspiring his theory of natural selection. As part of the Sci-Fun Challenge, I'm asking for your help to fund an expedition from South Texas to Florida. That's right, Florida. If you think it's all mouse ears there, think again. Why did it have to be snakes? So why Florida? Because of marbled crayfish. Like the Amazons of myth, there are no males in marble crayfish. They reproduce entirely by cloning themselves. Marble crayfish have been found in Asia and Europe, and they've established populations in Germany and Madagascar. But all of those are places where marble crayfish have been put there by humans. We don't know of any wild populations of marble crayfish. What we do know is that marbled crayfish are most closely related to slough crayfish. And where do slough crayfish live? throughout Florida. They reproduce sexually, and no scientist has both the marble crayfish and the sleuth crayfish in their lab to study. Studying both of these species would help us understand how the differences in their reproduction arose and maybe help us prevent marble crayfish from becoming an invasive species around the world. So follow me on a scientific adventure.